In this video, we'll walk through WooCommerce shipping setup in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so this video is based on this article which we've written. I'll leave the link in the description below. If you want to follow along with the video or the article, you can do so. So when we scroll down, so there's a few key um, shipping methods in which we need to get our head around. So the first one, so the first three actually that we'll mention is the default WooCommerce shipping settings. And then additionally, we can use extra plugins to add additional features. So the first three shipping methods that comes standard with WooCommerce is a flat rate shipping method. So for example, if most of your items um, weigh the same and cost the same amount to ship, you can use a flat rate shipping method. It does um, offer a few complicated calculations so you can try make it work for your situation but we'll go through those as we go through the video. You can also offer free shipping and you can tie this to a specific condition for example spend over a hundred dollars and you'll be able to get free shipping. And then we've got local pickup so the customers can purchase online and then pick up in store or wherever you're located. Okay, so a few third party shipping option, which you might want to consider is a table rate shipping method. So this one's more flexible than flat rate shipping method, meaning you can do shipping by the way to the product at the price, the shipping class and a few other options. Then we've got the real time courier rates. So for example, if you ship with FedEx, for example, you can tap into their um, API and basically get live shipping updates. So you can provide customers with an accurate shipping price at the time. Okay, and then local delivery. So for example, if you run a pizza um, store, for example, or um, a bakery or anything like that where you offer um, local delivery. So this option will allow you to um, communicate with your delivery drivers and give them um, the up-to-date information. These last three shipping option which we've mentioned, so the table rate shipping, real-time um, shipping rates and local delivery. So we won't cover this in this particular um, video, but we'll leave links in the description below as well as to um, where you can find out more about those shipping options. So for 80% of the viewers watching, I think the standard shipping options that WooCommerce offer should do. Okay, so we'll navigate over to our um, WordPress dashboard. And now the first step is to navigate to WooCommerce and then navigate to settings. And then we'll, so before we actually navigate to the shipping option, so we need to navigate to the shipping tab. But if you don't see the shipping tab for whatever reason, just navigate down to where it says general settings. And then where it says shipping location, you can choose from one of these options. So you can ship to all um, countries that you sell to, um, ship to all countries, ship to specific countries only, or you can disable the shipping and a shipping calculation. So if you don't see the shipping tab, most likely you've got this option selected. So if you select, um, for example, here, um, I want to ship to all the countries which I sell to then you should see the shipping tab right here. So we're just going to click on the shipping tab. Okay, and then we've got shipping zones. So shipping zones is a different countries and regions which you ship to. For example, here I've set up a shipping zone for USA and here I've just um, specified it for the entire states um, within USA. Okay, so for example, we can click add um, a shipping zone here. And then we can create our first shipping zone. I've already added a few, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this and then we'll recreate it together. Okay, so I'm going to click add um, shipping zone and I'm just going to name this shipping zone. So I'm going to say um, USA, for example. And if I wanted to um, specify specific shipping options for the USA, the UK, Canada, and etc. We can set up um, different shipping zones because we want to offer um, different um, shipping prices for those shipping zones. Hopefully that makes sense. Now we'll select the shipping region. So here we'll select um, United States. And if you wanted to just limit shipping to a specific state, you can go ahead and do that as well. But in my case, I'm going to just select um, United States to ship to all parts of the US. 
Okay, so that's our shipping zone setup. And now we can move on to adding our shipping method. So here we'll just click add shipping method. And then we've got three options, just like what we discussed in the beginning. So we've got flat rate shipping, free shipping and local pickup. Okay, so we'll start by offering a basic um, flat rate shipping option. So we'll just click add shipping method. Okay, and then we can actually edit this um, flat rate shipping. We can rename it as well. So this is the customer will see this um, title as well. So we can just call it um, standard shipping, for example. Okay, um, is it taxable? Yes or no? And then the shipping cost. So if you click on this um, question mark icon, um, WooCommerce actually gives you a few different examples of how you can customize the pricing. Okay, so we're going to set up a basic pricing. So I'm going to assume that most of the products on our store is of a similar weight, right? So I'm going to say I want to charge $3.95 per item. So to do this, we'll put um, $3.95. And then I'm going to do a asterisk sign. Okay, that's basically the star um, sign on your key. And then I'm going to put bracket, and then I'm going to put QTY and then close brackets. OK, so this basically says for each for each item, we're going to charge three dollars ninety five per item. OK, as I said, you can click on um, this question mark icon and in the article. So I'll leave a link to the article, which I reference as well. There you can find um, all sorts of different formulas which you can use um, to calculate the shipping costs. For example, um, you can calculate the shipping costs based on the total um, amount within the customer's basket. So, for example, if they if their total amount equates to a hundred dollars, you can say you want to charge ten percent of whatever the total is. So, in that case, you'll be charging ten dollars per shipping if they've got a hundred dollars worth of um, goods in their cart. Okay, but we'll just keep it super simple. So, we're just charging three dollars ninety five per item. Okay, so we'll just click save changes. And that's pretty much it for our flat rate shipping. We're going to take it a step further um, later on. So we're going to add some shipping classes and I'll explain that in a sec as well. But before we do that, let's go ahead and add um, free shipping and then we'll add local pickup as well. So we'll just select free shipping here. OK, and then we can edit this free shipping option, which we've just created because um, we want to add uh, some criteria to it. So here I'm going to say if the user spends um, a minimum of, let's say, $100, for example, then they'll be able to get free shipping. And then you can enable this option if, let's say, for example, let's say, for example, the total cost of the goods within their cart is a $100, but they've entered in a discount code, which gives them, let's say, 30%. So now the total amount in the cart would be $70, right? But the actual value of the items is actually $100. So you can enable this option if you want to calculate the minimum before they add the coupon. Um, again, this will depend based on your requirement. Um, personally, I'll just um, leave it as off. So we're calculating the um, minimum based on the to cart total, not the cart value. OK, so we'll just hit save changes. So that's our free shipping method done. And now let's go ahead and add local pickup as well. So the pickup address is basically um, the store address which you've saved in a general settings. OK, so we'll just add this local pickup shipping option and you can add a small fee as well if you wanted. So maybe you can um, add a small fee for handling, for example. OK, so we can say um, five dollars or we can set it as zero for um, a free local pickup okay so we'll just hit save changes okay and now we'll move on to shipping class so currently how our standard shipping method is set up it's fine but let's say for example so I've created this product here this table as you can imagine this table costs a lot more to ship so it doesn't make sense to charge um, the standard three dollars ninety five like we did so in this situation, we can actually create a shipping class um, and add an extra charge to that shipping class. OK, so we'll navigate to we're already on shipping and we're in shipping zone. So now we'll navigate to shipping classes. OK, so I've already added um, a shipping class here. But in your case, to add a new shipping class, you'll just click add shipping class. 
and then we'll just give it a name for example we can select we can say um, a bulky items you can name this whatever you want as well it's just for internal purposes for the slug you can leave it blank and WooCommerce will automatically generate a slug and then for the description again this is for internal purposes so give it name it something meaningful so you remember why you've actually added this um, shipping class so in my case I've put um, for the description for bulky items right because we want to add an extra um, charge for our bulky items. Once you've entered in all this information, just go ahead and hit save shipping classes. Again, since I've already added it here, I'm not going to save this option. Okay, so now that we've got our shipping set up and we've added our first um, shipping class, we can actually assign that shipping class to a product. So for this um, bulky item, I'm going to edit this product. And then where it says shipping here, I'm going to select this option. And then where it says shipping class, I'm going to go ahead and select our bulky shipping class as well. So let's update this product. So currently, just by doing that, nothing will happen. Now we actually need to assign an extra charge to that shipping class. So to do so, we'll navigate back to um, shipping zones and then we'll select our USA shipping zone okay and now we'll go ahead and edit um, our flat rate shipping which we've renamed to standard shipping okay and then underneath this price here we can see all the shipping classes that we've got um, on our site okay so for our bulky shipping class again I'm going to create a similar setup like we did here and I'm going to go quite extreme with the pricing. So I'm going to say it will be an extra um, $100, for example. So I'm doing it this dramatic, just so when we actually view the shipping page, we can see the difference um, adding a bulky item. We can see the impact of adding a bulky item um, in terms of the shipping costs. Okay, so here it says for each item with the bulky shipping class, we're going to charge the customer um, $100 per quantity, right? And again, obviously, you can edit um, these figures as you see fit. For the calculation type, we can choose whether we want to charge shipping per shipping class individually or whether we want to just charge the most expensive, apply the most expensive um, shipping class. Okay, here I've just left it to individually. Let's hit save changes. Okay, and then let's view our product page. Okay, if you're wondering how we um, created this here as well, um, I'll leave a link in the description below, but this is powered by our product bundle um, plugin. That's why we're seeing these options here. Okay, so let's just navigate to the cart page for now. Okay, just to make the maths simple for myself, I'm going to reduce this quantity to one and the shipping charge should be free, um, free 95. Okay. Right. So for the standard shipping here, we can see that it's free 95. We can't see the free shipping yet because, um, obviously the cart total is less than a hundred dollars. So we won't see the ship free shipping option. We've got local pickup, which we charge an extra $5 for. And now let's go ahead and add this bulky item to our basket. Okay, so now when we view the cart page, we can see that the shipping now is a $107.90. Okay, and the reason for this is um, that bulky table item, it's being charged the free 95 as well as that extra $100 on top as well. So that that's what gives us this price in here. So since the basket is over $100, we can now see the option for our free shipping. Okay, so in this scenario, I personally recommend using our conditional shipping and payments plugin. And what this plugin will allow you to do is create various conditions to disable certain shipping methods. So in this situation, you could create a rule and I'll leave a link to a video explaining how to actually set up um, this plugin and a few other resources as well. But how we'd use this plugin in this example is Let's say, for example, we could create a rule that says if the customer um, adds a product to their basket with the shipping class bulky, disable free shipping. That will basically help save you money so you don't lose out on the shipping costs. 
So that's one way how you could use um, this plugin to combat um, that situation. So I download a conditional um, shipping and payments plugin by WeSuite and that should help you out. Okay, but going back to our cart page, we can see that all our shipping options are working as it should. And this should be enough to get you started in terms of setting up your WooCommerce um, shipping options. Okay, and that's how you get started with WooCommerce shipping. So we looked at three different um, shipping methods. So we looked at the flat rate um, shipping methods, free shipping, and also local pickup as well. We also looked at um, the shipping classes in WooCommerce and the shipping zones. So hopefully that's enough to get you started. Again, I'll leave um, a link to all the resources mentioned in the description below and if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible